Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love. And I'm Rich Bonaducci. And you are watching Talk 365. Happy April Fool's Day. Maybe. Welcome to Talk 365 and happy April Fool's Day. It really is April Fool's. We weren't fooling on that. So if you forgot, we have some really good last minute April Fool's jokes that you can actually still do. That's right. I know it's early, but these will still be good for today. And we'll give you some history of just why April Fool's even exists. We're going to talk to University Credit Union about Visa Rewards, give you some really good tips, and they have really good rewards. And we have a really good spring preview of the movies coming your way with Kent Dunn. You're not going to want to go anywhere. Stick around. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. Hey everybody, it's Holly Love and I am here with my old friend Todd Summers. Todd, you are now the marketing manager of University Credit Union and guess what? I just became a member today. Tell them why they should become members. You should become a member, especially if you love University of Utah. See our red color, Holly's red hair, the lips, it's, it's just, it works. Lots of benefits from a credit union. No fees, low interest rates on loans, car loans, friendly local service. Speaking of car loans, I've been needing a new car and you guys were fantastic. You recommended that I come here first before I go to the dealer, get pre-approved. I figured out what's going on with my credit, what I need to do to fix it, uh, how much my loan will be, how much I would pay per month in order to get the car I want to be in. You guys were so helpful. I am like prepared, armed, ready for battle to go find the perfect car. There is really just no excuse to not get in here to University Credit Union and join. Become a member today like me and Todd. Lashes for the Talk 365 team. Yes, that's you, Rich. Just kidding, it's Holly. Provided by Sweet Lash. Welcome back to Talk 365 on April Fool's Day. It is April Fool's, and you have the history yes, for me. but why is it April Fool's Day? Exactly. I'm, I'm going to give you five theories okay. as to why it's April Fool's Day, and you can tell me which one I'm trying to fool you with. Okay, How's I'm that? ready. One of them is the change from the uh, Julian to the Gregorian calendar. Okay. That one. Or the arrival of spring. Because of the fickle weather, it would fool people into thinking, oh, is it still winter? There's some snow. Or is it spring? That sounds really real because I was fooled recently by Utah weather. Yeah, and you will again, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, I know. It'll be June and or random snow. the fool's errand of the crow oh. that had to go out from Noah's Ark and find dry land. I swear. Oh, no. Or something to do with the vernal equinox. Vernal? Like the place here in southern Utah? The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the Manti equinox. Uh, okay. Right. Or something about the Romans end of, um, end of the year festivities. I don't even remember these anymore. Or that, well, they're written right here for you. Or the Celtic festival. Oh, okay. So. One of these is true. Do you, do you remember which one it is? Sure. I'm going to go with the vernal equinox is false. April Fools, these are all real theories. No one really knows why we have April Fools Day. It could be because of this, could be because of that, could be because of that. It could be any one of these. We're not for sure. The one I think though, because it started around the 1500s, is when we switched, the Western world switched from mm. the Julian to the Gregorian calendar around the 1500s. And so people and were it, messed it, up. It changed the first of the year. It used to be April 1st, uh -huh. around there. Now it was January. And if you could fool people oh. into thinking it, this was the new year, they were an April fool. That makes sense. Because they still thought it was the new year. That but it makes could be sense. anything. I have some last minute ideas for you. If you still have not pranked someone and you want to get them really, really good, I've got a few good ones. Are okay. you ready for this? You bet. Okay, I have notes because it's, it, this one's a little intense, but we're gonna get it out there. Pre-production. You're gonna love it. it it's true, I'm I know. getting ready. Okay, I'm, I'm this is the cat fact prank. It is online. You can, a bunch of websites tell you exactly how to do this, but I'm gonna break it down. Here's the gist. 
you are going to go onto Google Voice and set up an account so that you can text your friend anonymously. Okay. Right? Then you send them a text that says you've just been enrolled in Cap Fact of the Day and you add a Cap Fact. You can find Cap Facts online, copy, cut, paste, or you can make them up yourself. You can have some fun and start getting a little personal with your friend. Like if you know he has a fat cat, he's a Pisces and he likes the color brown, be like, anyone who has a fat cat is usually a Pisces and likes the color brown and kind of start freaking them out a little bit. You give them a cancellation option, like text back all caps Z's and it doesn't work. The next time it's like totally something different and you keep sending them faster and faster. It makes people crazy. I know people who it's been done to and it's, it's really good. That's awesome, right? That's awesome. I know. Okay, then this is 50 easy April Fool's jokes. Again, online, jump 50? online, you can do oh, this. Oh. oh, I won't read all 50, I've got them highlighted. Yeah, Remember like when I was minutes. like laughing earlier? Okay, um, hide scented fresheners all over someone's office. That one's fun. Uh, switch the push and the pull sign on doors. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. Um, bring multiple sets of clothes to work and just keep changing like every hour and act like nothing is different. Maybe I'll do that. Um, let's see. Uh, put a please use the other door sign on an entrance where there is a building where there is no other door <laughs> and just record people being like, what? Where do I go? What? Um, let's see. Leave a note on someone's car apologizing for the accident and then record them just like trying to find out like what? What happened to their car? I like that. I know. A little bit of nastiness here. Conference call two people and then just don't say anything. And let them start working it out. These are actually pretty good. I know. I do. Um, Keep going. Paint the tips of somebody's, like at their desk, all of their pencils and all of their pens with clear nail polish. So they're like, They can't what? write. They can't write anything. I love that. Clear nail polish somebody's soap. All the way around it's <laughs> so in there that's a lot of nail polish <laughs> why does it make me laugh so hard i just want to see somebody in the I, shower I have, trying I to have do my it. theories rearrange somebody's drawers this would like make me crazy because i'm ocd and i know where everything is and like which drawer is what and i would that would trip me out better rearrange a neighbor's drawer like go in their house that's stealing and breaking and entering don't do that you're gonna get in trouble don't go there um put an ad in the paper that someone is having a garage sale at 6 a.m. Okay. Yeah, or you could put their car on like Craigslist. That's something you could do right now really fast. I like that one. Take a picture of someone's car and put it on and Craigslist. And like really low price if it's a nice one. That or, actually happened to a friend of mine as well. Or if well. it's broken, if it needs a clutch, just say it's brand new. Oh gosh, I'm never gonna live that down. Oh. Anyway, okay, the, lots, lots of opportunities to still have some fun today. So I say get out there and have some fun. But don't do these two things. Okay. I'm going to head back to history for a moment. Oh, no. And give you a best and worst Ooh, prank. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, the best, in fact, I want, I want to get it right. I have my own notes, too. Mm -hmm. The best prank is in 1957. Okay. The BBC news show Panorama announced that thanks to very mild weather and a virtual elimination of the dreaded spaghetti weevil, Swiss farmers were enjoying a bumper spaghetti crop. Okay. People actually bought it. So, People were writing in and, and asking, how can I grow my own spaghetti tree and all this stuff? You can't. It well, was a joke. But here's one I, I don't it. suggest you do. This is awful. This is one that started out as to be good and it went very wrong. It never was good. This was just in the two, 2002. In April of 2000, the Romanian newspaper Opinia okay. published a story reading that a number of prisoners were finally going to be released from prison after years. So after like 60 people oh. made these travels, a pilgrimage of hundreds of miles, thinking their loved ones were going to be released, they got to the prisoner to prison to find out that, just kidding, no one's being released. It was a joke. Oh, that's not funny. Not funny, no. Romania, Opinia. <laughs> they had to print uh, an apology. <laughs> I would suggest, yeah, you put an apology for telling people, hey, that guy that you love has been in jail he's for 10 years. He's not coming out. He's, nah, he's not coming out. I'm picturing the guy trying to make his pens work that I painted. With the yeah, forever locked in prison trying to make his pens work. You add that to the mix and it's just it's really, really bad It's really sad. Day. Yeah. yeah. No. Very good job. Okay, when we come back, I think we're going to be talking to Kent, right? Yes, we are. We're going to have a spring preview for you. Not every movie coming this spring, but some really good ones. Kent Dunn is in the house, and uh, so I'll go away for a minute, but... You'll have some fun. We'll be right back.
Talk 365 studio space provided by Media Riff. Hey everybody, it's Holly Love and I am here with my old friend Todd Summers. Todd, you are now the marketing manager of University Credit Union and guess what? I just became a member today. Tell them why they should become members. You should become a member, especially if you love University of Utah. See our red color, Holly's red hair, the lips, it's, it's just, it works. Lots of benefits from a credit union. No fees, low interest rates on loans, car loans, friendly local service. Speaking of car loans, I've been needing a new car and you guys were fantastic. You recommended that I come here first before I go to the dealer, get pre-approved. I figured out what's going on with my credit, what I need to do to fix it, uh, how much my loan will be, how much I would pay per month in order to get the car I want to be in. You guys were so helpful. I am like prepared, armed, ready for battle to go find the perfect car. There is really just no excuse to not get in here to University Credit Union and join. Become a member today. Like me and Todd. Critical Mass Moment is brought to you by The Movie Show, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on KJAZZ TV. Hello and welcome to your Critical Mass Moment here on Talk 365. This is Kent Dunn. Hey Rich, how's it going? It's going well. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Um, for those that don't know me, I write movie reviews at ShowtimeShowdown.com. I also talk a lot on a podcast. He does. It's called Bacon Sale. Bacon Sale. Don't worry about it. Please. Okay. But well, you worry about it. <laughs> you check it out. Yeah. But after this, because what we're here to do is to give you a spring preview, basically what's coming up in May into June. And uh, really quick spring preview. Really quick. We only have a few minutes. There's lots going on, so let's just start with uh, Batman versus Superman. Well, I think we have to. <laughs> it's, it's a summer movie released in March, but hey. Even though it just happened. But really, it kicks off the spring. Yeah, so it's been out for a little bit. Of course, we're going to get to it later. But let's let's move on to the next movie because we'll spend enough time on that. Okay. Um, it's Melissa McCarthy's next movie. It's, a, it's an R-rated comedy called The Boss. <laughs> and also an R-rated action flick called Hardcore Henry. Sounds a little X-rated. Uh, Chateau Copley is in it, so I hope not. Okay. I don't really need to uh, see any more him than I've already seen in District 9. But anyway, next on April 15th is the highly anticipated Jungle Book from Disney. Okay. And also there, the family friendly fair is continuing on with a video game adaptation of Ratchet and Clank. Really good uh, voice cast as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, anyone who's done voice before, they right. got them to do it again because yeah. they're so good at it. That's pretty much what we're talking about for April. Now, for May, your favorite, Marvel. I love Ooh, Marvel. Coming back. No sarcasm. Personal joke there. Um, <laughs> uh, inside joke. Captain America, Civil War, May 6th, enough said. I think a little more than enough, but the, which is fine, we'll get there. Um, but don't worry about it, don't worry about it. May 13th, which is actually Friday the 13th. It is Friday the 13th. We have some uh, timely movies, I guess. There's one called The Darkness, and mm -hmm. also one called Kidnap. But also there's a movie called Money Monster, and this is Jodie Foster's new director, d directorial effort. And it stars George Clooney, Julia Roberts, Jack O'Connell. It's going to be a good one. You think? I hope. What was their last one that was good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ocean's 12. <laughs> okay. Then coming May 20th, you've got the Angry Birds who get their own movie. Why? I don't know, actually. Okay. Then you've got uh, Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. Why? I still don't know. But <laughs> after that, this one I know. Okay. Nice Guys, starring Russell Crowe, not a nice guy, and Ryan Gosling, I've heard is a nice guy. It's Shane Black's new movie. I'm very yep. excited. I, I love Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yeah, I can see so. th this could be really cool. Yes. yes. Another one just like that. And it probably will be. The week after that, May 27th, we get to see Johnny Depp doing something he rarely ever does. Um, Just be himself. Uh, almost. Okay. Well, I think he, he's himself now. He is putting on some white makeup and a big wig and a big hat as he's playing the Mad Hatter once again in Alice Through the Looking Glass. Well, let me guess. Danny Elfman does the music. <laughs> You're a good guesser. I'll just say that. <laughs> yes, right. um, but the one I'm very excited about is mm -hmm. X-Men Apocalypse, which stars everyone. everybody. A really big Olivia cast. Olivia Munn. You like Olivia Munn? Hi, Olivia, if you're watching. I'm sure she is. Are you sure? Okay. I'll well, send it to her. Okay. You know, in this day and age, you can do that. I'm sure she'll watch it, too. I'm sure she will. And her. They could just have her in it, and I'd be fine. Her and Kate Beckinsale, you would see that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would see that movie. <laughs> you would see that Can't movie. Can't turn it red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's it for May. Now to get to June, right. you know, we're, we're touching on summer here, but you know. We are, and the movies continue to be like big budget movies. For example, we get a, an, another sequel here. 
this one I don't know if we want, but we shall Another see. Another sequel of a reboot. Yes, exactly. Yes. And yes. this one is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the shadows. Out of the shadows. Bebop and Rocksteady are there. We'll see how it goes. Wow. wow you... I mean, I wanted it. What? That, no, that, this is my Will house. That you too easily. This is what, Krang is there? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not saying I'll enjoy it, but I know a lot about it. <laughs> All right. So one week later in June, on the 10th, we've got Now You See Me too. Magic. I, I, it's magic that they made in a second one. I'm the, not really sure why they did right. that. The one I care about actually more than that is The Conjuring 2 with Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. Vera I thought Farmiga? the first one, yeah. it really surprised me. It's an actually scary yeah. movie, so I'm going to see that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, big video game movie. I think this, this is the year of video games trying to be movies once again. Wow. Wow. Wow's coming up. Or World of Warcraft. Or just Warcraft. Wow. The reason I'm excited is Duncan Jones is directing this movie, and I loved his movie Source Code and Moon, so... I was going to say, uh, the, if anyone has a chance to make a video game into a proper movie, it's probably him. Yes. Yeah. Now, just after that, the last for, as far as we're concerned, for spring, in June, on the 17th, the very long-awaited sequel to Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. Right. So it's been 12 years. Yeah. So all the kids who like the first one are grown. And maybe have kids of their own. 12 years later. <laughs> Well, I mean, if they saw when they were 13 or 25, it's Utah, they probably I'll give you that. It's just, by now. It's a bit late, but honestly, it will probably be much beloved for like the first one. Spoiler alert, I bet they find her. Most, most likely. I just think so. So if you had to choose between those movies or the other ones we didn't mention, uh, what would be the it's, one you're really excited to see? Okay, it's a big event movie, and even though I'm, I'm not the biggest fan, Captain America Civil War. <laughs> you heard it here. It's, we'll see what happens. That, why? Spider Boy's in it. That's true. Hey, everyone. All right, I'm going to tell you one thing. This, this is bad. This might get us in trouble. Okay. Did you see one of my tweets, one of my Facebooks about the Lego? Yes, yes. Do you know what I was referring to? No. Okay, back in, I'm going to do this really <laughs> quick. Back when Ant-Man came out, and he has the little, red, the little red and blue chips that make things small and large. Yes. He used the blue chip to make himself human-sized again. Mm-hmm. I predicted, and eventually, and I thought it was going to be for Infinity War, okay. that he would show up as Ant-Man and then at a key moment go, put the blue thing in and become Giant Man. Because that's part of, that's, okay. part I, okay, of the, I that's Goliath that. and all that. It's going to happen. It's going to happen in Civil War, I think, because I just bought a Lego kit that has two Ant-Man in it. One is huge and holds Iron Man in his hand, and Iron Man can hold the small Ant-Man in his hand. You bought hand. this for your kids? This Lego set for your kids? I don't have kids. Oh, okay. I don't have kids because I have the kid in my house. <laughs> and it, the Ant-Man is so cool. I should bring it in. But I think they're going to do it in Civil War. Oh, absolutely. I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's yours as well. What's that? That's your yeah, most awaited I, I am really excited to see that. Okay. Uh, there's a lot going on. I'm curious how they're going to do the story because in the comic books, you know, they shoot Captain America and they're not going to do that. No. So I'm kind of curious what they're going to do. Kill Tony Stark. Maybe. Yeah. But they'll need him for Infinity War. You don't kill Robert Downey for crying out loud. They might. They didn't do that in Sherlock. Uh, yeah, you're they right. Sh- they didn't do it in Soloist, and they should have. And Mar- <laughs> Soloist? That's where you're going? <laughs> or the judge. They killed him in the judge. <laughs> what if they killed him in? The only thing I can think of that heart they killed soul. him in. Heart and Soul. Did they kill him but in But he was alive soul? in Heart and Soul. <laughs> but no, they killed him in, in um, oh no. You know the one with Andrew McCarthy in it. Oh, yeah. Less than zero. Yep, that's the one. They killed him. Yeah. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Again, not everything that's coming out this spring, just a few things we thought would be interesting. And if you want some of the uh, details for those movies as they are reviewed, we're going to be doing it here on Fridays. Yes. But also make sure you watch The Movie Show Sundays at 10 right here on KJazz. And of course, check out your stuff where? Once again, BaconCell.com for the podcast, movie reviews if you just want to read, ShowtimeShowdown.com. And I'll be back with Holly when Talk 365 continues. Critical Mass Moment is brought to you by The Movie Show, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on KJazz TV.
If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you. Okay, welcome back, everybody. All right, want to thank Mr. Kent Dunn. That was really fun. Thank you for bringing him on. You guys yeah, are cute together. Yeah, we did a lot with uh, Critical Mass, and I'm glad that we have a segment that we can still do stuff together. He's a really busy guy. He has a lot going on. We appreciate him taking the time out to come and hang with us at Talk 365. That's going to be happening every Friday on Fun Film Fridays. But make sure you keep watching the movie show right here on KJS Sundays at 10 because you get a whole lot more reviews than we can fit into just our segment. Really quick though, um, I noticed that you didn't talk about my big fat Greek wedding oh, too. Oh, you noticed that, did you? I did, why? Batman versus Superman, that's why. I feel so bad. I loved my big fat Greek wedding a, one. That is a bummer slate to get it, put a, up against that movie. It's a tough weekend. But if you can't get into Batman, if you haven't bought your tickets weeks ago, maybe go see Big Fat first. Uh -huh. Let some crowds dissipate and check out Batman versus it's Superman. It's a really good idea so you don't have to be in that very front go. row. The worst row ever. The yeah, worst row ever. Yeah, go. Yeah, I like that idea. Make that happen. Okay, coming up right now, we are going to talk with the boys from University Credit Union about visa rewards. Now, let me tell you something. If you are not a member of University Credit Union, especially if you have a kid going to the University of Utah, or if you are a student up at the University of Utah, you're crazy because you get so many rewards, like triple the awards, anything at you, including tuition. Which is really funny. I mean, most people are familiar with getting rewards on a credit card because they buy gas or food. Uh -huh. But if you, <laughs> you have your rewards for tuition? Amazing. That could be a lot of rewards. That's a lot of rewards. And you get special deals on books and all kinds of fun things here. Check it out. So um, last time we were hanging out, you guys were helping me figure out auto loans, which was fantastic. So this time yes. we are going to talk visa credit cards yes. because mm -hmm. now is the time to get your visa credit card with summer coming travel gas all of that fun stuff happening let's start Great with work. the different cards you guys offer yeah well we have you know several different options in visa cards you have a standard card that you know doesn't have rewards it's just great to, you know low rate can be used for you know just like any other credit card really easy to apply and to and you know to, to get quickly get we also have a great rewards program so that you can get rewarded for you know using the card you know you, you gain a point for every dollar of purchase and mm -hmm. then you can accumulate those points and uh, then use them for really cool stuff like you know reimbursement on travel cash back all sorts of merchandise gift, you cards. Know, gift cards you know great stuff so there's like um, like a regular a crimson you have cool cool names because you guys are university credit union so what are the cards we have uh, platinum. Okay. That's the that's the card that you want if you need to get credit quickly. Okay. We've got the crimson card, mm -hmm. which is uh, a card that it's a little bit harder to get, I think, Derek. Right? Yeah, but it's got a little better credit. A little better limits. credit, high limits or high. So if you amounts. need more money, mm -hmm. right? You would need the red card, which just crimson. seems seem crimson, mm -hmm. which seems appropriate. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we have what's the what's the other one? The, the secure. A secured visa card, which is basically that's for people who have not so great credit, uh, uh, and, you know, and basically uh, how that works is you have yeah. you have uh, a share secured credit, so it helps you to build your credit up. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like training wheels. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Okay, well that might be mine. We'll, <laughs> well, have, we'll, we'll have, have to go see. figure that out. Yeah, sure. We'll talk to a virtual teller and we'll see. Mm -hmm. I mean, the good thing is the point is is that you know we have options for everybody. You know, no matter what your credit is, there's options. There's something for you. So, so don't be scared. Exactly. Okay. Now, what about uh, business cards? What about we have a business card? Students. We have student cards. Explain. Explain that. Well, student card is just basically like. Um, a regular credit card, but it's uh, tailored for our students and has special features, you know, for you know University of Utah students. Well, any any student really. Really, what business is like is mm -hmm. they like to keep their personal spending and their business spending. Like, you know, if you're even a one-person shop, you know, it's just mm -hmm. you and your business. You want to keep your personal spending, your business spending separate. Okay. And so you want to have your personal card for when you go do your own personal things. But when it's a business expense, you want to keep that on your business card and keep that separate. And so that. You know, that's a good option for, for even the smallest of businesses. Okay, but how do I get how do I get one? What happens? 
come into a branch or you can apply online. Talk to Janie. Talk to Janie. Janie. Or, well, yeah, I guess I know, Janie anyone. Can, you can talk to Talisa back there. Talisa's, oh, okay, really, sidebar really quick. Why is everyone who works here beautiful? I don't understand. <laughs> like everyone, it's a thing. Look at that. Look at the blue steel, Derek. He's stealing it. He's taking it. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, getting back to how do I get one? Come in. Come in. Apply. Or apply. Online. It's pretty easy. You could at you.com. Okay. Fill out application and it's really simple. Okay. So um, let's talk rewards because we want to do really awesome things this summer. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do I get rewards for? You can get two times rewards. Two times rewards? That means two points for every dollar you spend. Mm -hmm. Okay. On groceries and at restaurants. Do you go, do you go buy groceries? Uh, I eat, no, I do. I buy groceries. Or do you eat? You go to restaurants? I do eat sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I do eat both places. Uh, groceries and whatever. But yeah. you know what? It's mm -hmm. summer. Barbecuing. Right. Oh, yeah. Lots of party time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that budget should go yeah. up. And mm -hmm. then you get two points per dollar. Two points per dollar. Okay. Three three times for gasoline. Traveling. Summertime. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, LA. Mm -hmm. We're going to LA. Are you and Derek? Sure. Yeah, one of my co-hosts, Farrell, he's never, never been to really? L.A. I think we got to take him there. Farrell's, so. Farrell's got problems. It's true. <laughs> he's got some problems. So, but we will get gas points, which mm -hmm. will make up three, for three times. So for three Farrell. points for Farrell. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Three times the points for gas. Then on campus here at the University of Utah. Uh huh. Five times. Five times. Yeah. Which, hello, football season. Mm -hmm. When does football season officially start? August? September? End of August. August. First, mm -hmm. first. Yeah. first game is right after Labor Day. So you We're definitely right want to have your card by then because you're going to be here on campus spending money, mm -hmm. right? What color is your credit union? Red! University Credit Union. Local to Utah, loyal to you. Yeah, but an online university feels so impersonal. Take a look at WGU. A faculty mentor works with you from day one to graduation. That sounds great. Would you like to try some mouse? Are they gluten free? WGU, it's a new kind of you. Welcome back. Um... Yep, you did not notice. <laughs> During the during the outtake here, you just we had to tell you that I totally switched jackets halfway through the show after you mentioned bring clothes and change at your office. When did you do it? Well, I took it off for Kent, and then I put a different jacket back on. That was after the first segment where you said bring different clothes. You didn't even notice. That was a good April Fool. Excellent. And all I do is And nobody got hurt. That's the best part. I just sort of re like remember thinking, like, wow, he's being really brave with the orange and the purple, and he's worn that jacket all week long. I have not worn it. I wore it on Monday, <laughs> and it was still over there. I know, I know, I know. But okay, yeah. that was really good. Right. My pens better not be dipped in. Yeah. If you start getting fat cats on your phone, you'll know why. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. I hope that everybody doesn't start texting me that. I would kind of get my just rewards. Please don't. Don't do it. How I about think this? It's funny. I think cats are funny. How about this for April Fool's? Yeah. Anonymous just published Donald Trump's phone number and his social security. Give him a call. Do the Send cat pranks. Send him a bunch of fat cat stuff. Oh, that would be super fun. And then let us know what you did. Oh, you know what? You should let us know what you did. That's right. Get on our Facebook page and tell us what pranks you did and how it went. And we'll talk about it next week. I think that's what we should do. And have a really good weekend. All right. See you. All right. There you go.